Two House bills are circling the Capitol, and today voters got to meet with one of the bill's representatives to voice their concerns. Fox 24's Katie Devella is in studio with why legislators say the bill is a solution to consequences no one saw coming. House Bill 1752 and 1753 would reverse the minimum wage increase to allow small businesses, nonprofits, and teens to receive the current 925 an hour. Northwest Arkansans spoke up to their local legislators this morning, saying they passed the increase in November for a reason, and it shouldn't be changed. I got to vote for the first time ever, and I think it's very important that the minimum wage increase stands as is because I voted for it as is. We voted on it, so that for me is where the conversation ends. Representative Robin Lundstrom's House bills await the stamp of approval in Little Rock. While many of her constituents this morning raised the red flag, she says these bills would help those voters accidentally hurt in November. I am hearing a lot from my small businesses, and especially my nonprofits, are hurting. And they're very worried that they won't be able to provide the services that are needed, desperately needed. Places like the Boys and Girls Club and women's shelters are pleading to legislators for help so they don't have to cut services next year. I'm confident when people walked in that voting booth and they voted, they didn't have another button to push that said, don't hurt my nonprofits, don't hurt my small businesses. Small business owner Tyler Carroll says his employees deserve higher wages, so he pays them what's known as a living wage. With the increase passed last year, he says now all workers can be rightfully paid. It used to be like, North Coast Arkansas is a cheap place to live. Well, it's not anymore, and, and, and that's okay, but people shouldn't have to move out of our area simply because they can't afford to live here. Micah Wallace, a working full-time student, says because she makes under $11 an hour, she has to commute from Gravit to the U of A six hours a week, a burden that would be taken away if she receives the new increase. The minimum wage increase is like a, a light at the end of the tunnel for me. It's going to be opportunity for me to move to Fayetteville. As representatives, we're supposed to offer solutions for unintended consequences, and this is a solution. Both House bills will be discussed on the House floor this upcoming week. In studio, Katie Devella, Fox 24 News.